But we've got a soccer boy in the chair. Again, you've had this multiple times, right? Um, and all the time, usually the new nail grows in, old one falls off, and it keeps happening. And that's because we keep traumatizing the nail. Just like you get a bruise on skin, we can bruise the toenail. Mm -hmm. And it's the dry blood underneath that separates the nail from the nail bed, causing it to become detached. Things like fungus gets in, sometimes the nail becomes more curled. But in the end, it's really damaging your toenail. So we're gonna trim off whatever's uh, detached and leave whatever is good, and we just watch the new nail grow in. But I can see that the nail's very thick, right? So this will always happen, right? So we just have to maintain uh, these thickened toenails. That's why going next door to the nail salon regularly to have them buffed down, very important. Um, if you get tired of doing this or you, you don't like how thick they are, honestly, remove them is a great option. No more toenails, completely smooth. You never have to deal with the nail again, okay? But we'll see how it looks once we clean it all up. So we're just gonna trim this back. And it was just really this corner that made you wanna come in. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit ingrown, a little bit curled. But this has been happening for years? No, honestly, just like, like what? Two years. One and a half years? What's happening? You get new soccer shoes? Anything? I've rinsed through as many soccer shoes like, as I possibly can because it's just like, because some of them like are. Some of them are too tight, some of them are too, uh, like, are, are too wide or like, too much. So I realize, like, right now I, I have a pair which I'm very comfortable with. Yep. It's just, like, it just hurts my heel, but that's that comes with, like, breaking them in. And just as of recently, maybe a week ago, is the, the ingrown part on the left side. Yep. Bothered me. But if it wasn't for my mom and my brother, like, telling me, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go, uh, like, I probably wouldn't have came here. I probably would have just let it grow because I saw like the nail beginning to grow. So I'm like, I don't know how much I really need to do, but I'd rather get an expert's opinion rather than just go about it myself. Yeah, and I think your big issue was just the nails are just a little bit too long and these are too thick. So then they put more pressure in the shoe mm -hmm. and just a vicious cycle. Once we get the thickness down, nothing will be pushing the nail into the skin. And then like you said, then you can let your normal nail grow in. The crappy thing about cleats or athletic shoes, they just have to be snug, mm -hmm. right? So you can have control if they're loose. It just doesn't work. But then tight shoes really damage and beat up feet. Mm -hmm. So let me know if it gets a little bit too sensitive. I'm just trying to get as much of this nail that's in the side out. Again, we're just, anything that's dead or lifted is coming right off today. No pain? No. Plus, you'd never admit that on camera, right? You're going to be a, no, a tough... No, <laughs> that's Camera can know. Uh, at least I was being serious. That's true. <laughs> no, but nothing should really bother you. So now you can show off that all positions, you like all positions, you use both feet, you're Mr... Exactly, Mr. Stamina. <laughs> that's the one thing I really suck, though. I just, I'm not a good runner. See, here's the thing. I don't even think it's about being a good runner. I, I think it's just like pacing yourself. That is, that is true. Yeah. That is true. Because like I, you have to pick your spots. Literally, like a lot of people, like when like I remember when I used to watch film a lot. A lot of people they don't run a lot. It's just they know when to run. It's You're like right. Their 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 awareness and like scanning the field is what makes it easier for them. So I feel like that's really what genuinely makes the difference. Wise words from this young guy. But you're completely right. If you just start chasing after every ball, you're gonna die. Oh, I swear. That was my problem. That was too much like a little puppy just running around. Oh, my friend's like that. I play with him and then he runs after everything and I'm like, bro, you, you don't have to, like, there's no need. He's like, no, I wanna run. I'm like, bro, like after three runs, you're, you're, you're wheezing on the floor. Yep, and then you're no good. Then you're gonna get beat everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be using a little tool to be scooping out the corner. Mm -hmm. But it was very tight in there. Mm -hmm. And I also, like, I personally just got scared and never never cut it myself. Because, like, looking at the blue and the green and the, and the, and the red, I was just like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna sit this out of my area of expertise. Then who saw your foot that it was really like, you gotta go? See, I always wear socks in the house. 
So I think on the rare occasions that I didn't is when I heard it from my mom, you have to go. And then my brother, because he has already been here, is like, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. So it's like, huh, oh, okay. I ignored it for six months, but then once you're done school and you're on break, you kind of have to hear it every day. So you got tired of it. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me go see what this is about. <laughs> let me just see what this is about. No, and you have, you're right in a sense where if you were just to leave it, the new nail would come in, but we can help it a little bit. So this is that little tool I was talking about, just to check the corner. Make sure we can see the end of the nail. But I think the, the nail salon next door, they really do an amazing job cleaning out these damaged toenails. They're gonna get all the cuticles nice and clean. They get down there really deep. It's gonna make a big difference. So a little bit of cold water, mm -hmm. nothing should hurt. Only 21? Yeah. I gotta see an ID, man. This guy, he's an adult. Look at him. He's a grown man playing against boys. He a full beard. A <laughs> drink beard going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me smooth out these nails. A little bit of cold water. That way you don't feel any heat. So I'm just gonna smooth out all of them since we're here. And this is what they're going to do next door at the nail salon really well. That was cool. It's alright. I work in this school at the same time, so... So you're a busy guy. I try to be. Well, it's better that way. Yeah. So on a day, like, I remember when Christmas happened? Yeah. Because we don't celebrate. So when, uh, when Christmas happened, like, they, they were like two days off, and I was like, I, I never felt weirder, because I was like, I don't have work, I don't have school, I don't know what's happening. So, I don't know, it feels weird not to have anything to do. But hey, that's just going to give you good work ethic, man, that's good. So you're not just home playing video games all the time. Oh, I wish. I played video games like on Christmas Day. I played video games at 1 p.m. and I was like, this, this something does not feel right. <laughs> I'm like, something does not add up right now. So if anything is a little sensitive, you let me know. Anything yet? No. So you can see a lot of the dead skin has already come off, mm -hmm. or it's the bad part of the nail. Mm -hmm. So I know that you said it was gonna come yellow. So is it gonna be that yellow? The new yellow. And that's unfortunately the damaged, thickened nail from all the wear and tear. You know that. It just comes with the territory. A lot of athletes have the same issue. And it's just nail trauma. So we get thick yellow dead skin from too much pressure. We get thick yellow nails from, again, cleats being stepped on, bruising the nail. So we're just going to take a little bit more off the corners. Better? So you can see the nails much flatter per se. We can see where half of it is the new nail coming in and the top half is the bad stuff. We'll wipe them down this whole foot in a second. This is how the tiles. But like dude, we first started playing way when I was super young when I first like I thought when I was super young. I always supported Barcelona. And I even support them now, even if they're in the Europa League. And so the team in World World Cup, kind of like, it did it for me. A lot of people felt like, yeah, they won it with him, right? Because yeah. just to see his whole career, really unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know, it's just like when we watch him, it doesn't feel real. There's something different about the way he plays the game. So you've gotten to see him in person? No, I haven't. I, w I hope that one day I can see him. I always forget coming to Nani. 
So I hope that by by next year I would have gotten the chance to come and play at least one. Yeah. But it was really awesome to see him win. It really was. Anything a little sensitive here? No. So, again, getting as much of this bad stuff off. Very bruised. Mm -hmm. So, you just kind of manage this by, as the nail goes out, you keep cutting it yourself. Mm -hmm. And I'd say, you know, in maybe three months or so, come in for a pedicure. They can do another cleanup next door. And we just keep seeing the new healthy nail until you bang it up all over again and we start from ground <laughs> zero all over. You okay here? Yeah, yeah. So, making sure there's nothing in that little pocket. Now it does go pretty deep on that side. Trauma can change the way a nail grows. So I can put my tool all the way underneath the edge of it. We just need this corner to grow on out. Okay, so this is the corner, it's rounded, it's not sharp. It's gotta grow over the skin and push on out. So now that it's filed back, it should be able to do that without a problem, okay? And, and there you go, your, your, first, your first YouTube video. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're a secret YouTuber. Uh, maybe, who knows? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Well, you either look, you look like a, like a musician, an artist, or a fashion icon, Mr. I'll Style. I'll take the fashion. I'll take the fashion one. That, that, that made my day. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I'm good for the rest of the day. I don't have to worry. You got, you got some, you got some swag too. I'll tell you that. And that's how old I am, saying swag. <laughs> I'm not that old. I have sister. Swag? Have people still say swag? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, at least when I grew up, people did. 